Well, how do that, chums? Heck yes. I'm inside of No Man's Sky over there on the old screen. I don't know exactly what I'm looking at there. It looks like part of the Nexus, doesn't it? But we'll be in there in a moment. I've also got some Sean Murray watch over here. Got my cup of tea, got my merch t-shirt. Everything's groovy, baby. Anyway, I've got some No Man's Sky news for the inside of the viewer. So we'll be getting into that. Let's jump on over into game. Hakka pow! And I'm on... Oh, there you go. I was looking at the ceiling. I don't know how that blinking happened. Right, though. Anyway, let's run on over to see Johnny Five, the Quicksilver Merchant. Because, yes, look, the bar has restarted. Not only that, it looks like it's a good percentage in people inside the viewerverse. Let's go and speak to Johnny Five, I guess. Hello there, my little friend, my little compadre. So, firstly, there is this industrial crane arm. I'm very much looking forward to that. We've got quite a lot of uh, camp parts now, and that would look quite nice next to some landing pads or something. I could make a proper autophagy base now, which would be lovely. We've also got this, the covered crate. Again, very much in keeping with the autophage camps. And then we've got this one as well. Covered silos. Very cool. Very lovely and jubbly. It's so all three of these things are now available to unlock a Kate inside of the Quicksilver Merchant Store. And they're not too much when it comes to the old Quicksilvers. Um, I can't remember. Oh, 800 Quicksilver. 800 Quicksilver for each of those. Not too bad. You're not too shabby if you run the weekend mission. You can afford one of those in one hit. Freaking lovely jobs. Okay, anyway, so that's all that done, Coolio. So that's all the news I've got inside of game at the moment. So you're probably thinking, well, that's not really much news, people inside the viewerverse. What's going on over on your Twitterverse, like you sneakily showed us earlier? Well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go and hit on up a console. Let's go and see if we can just change this iteration into that of the Twitterverse. Here we go. Execute a mondo! Chicka pa pa chicka pa pa! Heck yes! Chicka boom! There we are! <laughs> and we're over on the old Twitterverse, I guess. You know what? Let's, uh, let's hit on the old player and on the old Winamp, shall we? Yeah, let's have a little bit of Winamps. Let's have a little sip of my tea before we get into this part. That's an Englishman's lifeblood, is tea! Thank you. Anyway, let's scroll on down and see what we've got here, people. So, Sean of the Murrays has actually tweeted out three little love hearts on Sully Kiwi's little intergalactic build and trailer park, which is pretty darn freaking lovely. I mean, look at that. Isn't that cool? So, yeah, you can go and stay in one of these little caravans. But not only that, Sully is going to send you on daily missions. Pretty darn awesome stuffage. You don't mind me saying so. That goes. Pretty lovely. That goes. Anyway, I'm just going to turn down the volume just a little tad on the old musics coming out of my laptop, just in case you're getting some reverb there on the old musics. Thank you. But anyways, looking pretty darn freaking lovely. Looking pretty darn nice. I, I, well, I think it is. I think it's inside the viewer us. In fact, um, so I actually hit on up Sully Kiwi and had a little a bit of a chat with him. And uh, yeah, he's going to send daily missions out if you are there or whatever, or missions in whatever frequency you like. In fact, you can hit on up the Discord for the Galactic Hub, and you can find out far more about this rattle spine sort of campment there. Or if you're on your Twitterverse, why not just hit on up Sully Kiwi and ask him for details. He's a very approachable, very lovely guy. And yeah, I was funny suggesting going over there and taking a look. I mean, I was toying with the idea of perhaps doing it myself in the next sort of, I don't know, love or something. I mean, I know that we're going through one at the moment, but we're getting on to that mo in a moment. In a, in a moment, we'll get on to that a bit more. So anyway, Sean of the Murrays and Hello Games have been nominated for Best Community in Games. That sounds like a reward for us. <laughs> I wonder if we could go up and claim it. Yes, yeah, the best community. Oh, best community support. Okay. Yeah, floored by this. It's an honor for us to support the best community in games. Yes. But there we go. This is how they've worded it. Nominees for best community support are. Okay, best community support. Now, I don't know about you, but I use Zendesk for my reporting uh, and getting the feedback. And to be honest, I don't think I've had a singular email back from Hello Games or the Shaun of the Murrays, even though I've probably submitted uh, loads. I've, I've submitted loads. I've actually showed you my Google Mail in the past on how many times I've reached out to them. And also I've emailed directly their community support manager 
and I think I've only ever had one reply, and that was about like the the events that we do inside of Guildford as a meetup. So yeah, I I, I would actually say uh, for best community interactions, best community interactions and support. I I wouldn't say No Man's Sky should win that because to be honest, I mean it's like now. We don't know what's going on when it comes to the roadmap or updates or anything like that. But Cyberpunk and those guys, they put out a freaking roadmap. I guess they do. Destiny 2, you've got a very good idea what's going on there. Because they drop a trailer and tell you what's coming season to season. Miles in advance. Yes. Uh, so I would, say, I would say either Cyberpunk or Destiny 2 should actually win out on those. Because I know about those. I haven't played Baldur's Gate 3 yet. And Final Fantasy... Although, you know, they're pretty good guys, aren't they? Who are Square Enix or whatever. But, um, yeah, I would say Destiny 2 or Cyberpunk will get my vote on that. Anyway, that's not the news that I've got for you. I mean, that's great news anyway. You know, a reward for best community support. Yeah, the way that uh, Sean Murray worded it here. Yeah. Yes, flawed by this, it's an honour for us to support the best community in games. We are the best community in games. He's quite right, though. He is quite right. Thank you very much, Sean Murray, for a lovely compliment. Salute to Mondo. We are the best community. <laughs> it's a bit cheeky, but that's that's the way Sean has worded it, the way they worded it. Very different. Yes. Yeah. Run on over and go and vote for yourselves, community. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Very nice, Sean Murray. Wordsmith. Freaking ninja. Right, anyhow. Anyway, but yeah, go and check out Sully Kiwi. Go check out this camp site and you know what I might have to try and do something on this myself I was a little bit hesitant on doing that mainly because it's it is part of the galactic hub and I don't really want to align myself with one hub and snub another hub but you know what this is something that a member of that hub has put a lot of work and a lot of effort into so I'm kind of on the fence do I do it do I not do it I might have to put a poll out there or something peeps or I might just jump in and do it because if I've got some downtime, why the fudge not? Did you see that Santa sleigh being taken up by a load of freaking living Leviathan frigates? Ah, oh, that was sweet. I, every time I watch this, I spot something else and I'm like, oh, that's freaking awesome. I love that idea. I'm going to nick that idea. Yeah, I might even just go there just for inspiration. It'd be lovely to do something like this in my own hub. But I think, in fairness, technically, I should at least jump in and, and try Sully Kiwis before I go and do that, you know? Yeah, I might have to go give it a look, people. Right, now. Or even just go and see Sully and ask him to give me a tour. Tell you guys what it's all about. If it's not for me, then it might be for you. So I might organise that with Sully. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens in the next week. Because I think something might. And there's reason why I think it might, people. So let's head on over to the Steam Depots. There's no hint that something's happening over here. I mean, yes, internal and experimental have been fluctuating. And we've had a few sort of uploads going inside of there. Those inside of Experimental have been combing the game files for hints and, and tricks that might give some sort of indication of what's on the horizon. It does look like some of the Expedition older folders have been tweaked about a bit, and it does look the word, like the word Redux and uh, has been sort of played with in there. It could be that the Reduxes are on the table, but we haven't seen any hints that they might be trying to put in Expedition 12. Anyways! Have the sales started. Now, technically, Steam will let Hello Games put their game on sale. So, is it happening? So, let's hit on up PSN store. No, look at that. That's 39.99s right there in real freaking English pounds. Yes, no, that's a full price still over there. So, we jump on over to Steam, which is the place we really want to look. No, it's still 60 freaking US dollars over there. Who are they trying to kid? Who are they trying to kid? You jump on over to Xbox. Boom! There's a sale on! There's a sale on Xbox! There's a sale for Xbox! So let's jump on into Xbox just to make sure that, that the front page isn't just cached. No, there is actually a sale on. It's 1999s, which is half price, people. And here we go. And it says here, on sale, save 20 quid. This ends in 13 days. 13 days, you say? Hmm. Okay, well, that's interesting. I was expecting to see seven. Do you know why? Because next Friday, next Friday is the Black Friday sales. Now, technically, legally, by Steam's own rules, you're allowed to put in your own sale. But then if there is a Steam sale as well, that runs. And you can opt in or out of that 
even if you have done your own sale. So I was thinking Hello Games would, oh, actually, that Steam isn't the game, isn't Game Pass, isn't the Xbox Store. So it kind of emerges into that one. Okay, right. Anyway, let's push on because we get to the Black Friday sales. We've got Nintendo. It's is it on sale on Nintendo? No, it's still thirty nine ninety nines over on Nintendo. Let's just click into the store because sometimes I find that what it says on the outside isn't what. No, no, it is. It is. It's on sale. It's on sale half price until the third of December, people. Until the first third of December, it's on sale, 50%. So don't trust what you see on the front page. Hold on. If I click into the PSN, though, because I've already purchased it, it's just going to say I've purchased it. So I can't tell whether it's on sale or not. Oh, it is. It is. It's on sale. It's on sale until the 27th of the 11th, people. The sales are happening. Okay, um, let's just jump into Steam. Let's just do the same on Steam, just in case what I'm seeing on the front screen isn't the same as what I'm seeing on the outside screen. Let's uh, scroll on down on the, on the old Steam. Where's the price? No, it's 49.99s on Steam, but I don't think that's going to remain like that. If we're seeing all the consoles do a drop in price, it's only but time before the sales hit Steam. And even if it doesn't hit Steam, people, Here's the Black Friday sales. Now the Black Friday sales are su suggested to start fairly soon. It says here, Black Friday deals are arriving in full force tomorrow. Hold on. Um, well, that's November 16th. It's a frickin' Friday right now. That's saying 16th. Perhaps this page just hasn't refreshed yet. Perhaps they go by when it's now Friday, the, first, well, the, 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 the Steam sales, when it's Friday all the way across the globe. Maybe I just need to freaking refresh this page a bit, a little bit more often today, and hopefully we'll see this happen. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just click when is Black Friday, just to freaking make sure. But yeah, okay. The 24th. We're done. Black Friday will be taking place on Friday, November 24th. Well, it's Friday 17th, so why the fudge does it say tomorrow? That's freaking messed up, isn't it? Because that says the 16th. So tomorrow, you'd think it'd be the 17th. Okay. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It looks like it does happen on Steam on the 17th. There we go, it says here. Yeah, you can start, start expecting big savings this Friday, November 17th. So even if Hello Games hasn't opted to do their own one, it looks like the actual Black Friday sales are taking care of that anyway. And it could be that all the other sales across consoles might be part and parcel of the Black Friday sales. Who knows? But it is looking like No Man's Sky is on sale half price across all of the consoles right now. And the only one that's playing con catch up is Steam, people inside the view of us. Boom! And some of that was news to me as well, because as you could see, I was just looking at the front screens, which were probably cashed prices from the last time I looked, which was yesterday. So brilliant stuff. Make sure you click in. Make sure it is available in your region. If it is and you know somebody that wants to buy No Man's Sky and join us on this amazing journey across the verse of the universe, make sure you send them a link. Get them on board. Yes, I guess. Maybe take them to Sully's freaking camp. <laughs> yeah, anyway, there you go, people. That's all the news that I've got for you. Very much looking forward to getting myself one of those Quicksilver cranes. It does look freaking lovely. But yeah, I'm um, going to go finish my tea. Oh, wrong button. Hold on, let me try the right button. There you go, that looks better, doesn't it? I'm still standing at that console, people. Lovely cup of tea. It's a bit cold, I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, it's near the bottom, though, so it's just dregs. Oh, freaking downed it, people. Downed it. Yes, that's my tea. I'm fully fueled. I'm fully ready for an update, people. I really am. So sales have happened on the day that I predicted the sales would happen. Friday the 17th. I guess. Chicka boom. What I also predicted, though, is hopefully we'll see an emoji either later this evening. The times that Sean has done emoji drops for the last few emoji drops has been like at 10 to midnight here in the UK. On a Friday, and then I, I I can't sleep, so I've been up, gone midnight, gone almost two in the morning, making a poxy video. Yeah, 
Ivy, Ivy gets a little bit knocked, but I think she understands, you know, it's all in good faith. And a lot of people benefit from it. In fact, last time she said, you're not going to be out of sleep. Just go do it. Just go bloody do it. So I did. And then I tried not to wake her up when I go in, you know, it's probably going to be that all over again. And being this close to Christmas, it's going to be like a second Christmas to me. It really is. Hopefully we're going to see a pretty tantalising emoji. That'd be nice. And if we don't see it, probably today, there, I'd imagine we might see it early part of next week. But you know what? If we don't see an emoji, it could be that they've got something different in mind this year. It might be that we don't get like Expedition 12. We might get a redux of the past three expeditions and they might throw in a random one from previous. That could happen. Uh, Warfi Farquhar said, what about if they redux every single expedition? Give you the choice of all 11 to run. That'd be cool. What I think would be cool, though, is if they give us Expedition 12. Yeah? And then, in-game, give us a actual way of running any of the previous expeditions, all 12 of them, whenever we wish. Because now it's on pretty much every platform. If they were to do that, that'll be the time to do it. And maybe they allow you to run that expedition once on each save you know so if you've got like a permadeath save you can run each of the 12 expeditions once and then that's it you know that kind of makes sense or at least it does to me and we've got like what 12 npcs inside the nexus you could give them one expedition each heck yes when it gets to like 24 expeditions maybe you give them two each you know that sort of thing there's a way that they could bring this into game and make it sort of canon and it is an in-game sort of mechanic you know which would be lovely well something i'd really like to see is the weekend summer mission law the whole ariadne storyline i want to see that added into game as well if they did did that if they gave us the ariadne storyline and the ability to rerun the expeditions anytime we want that would be a nice little bow on a lot of the lore, wouldn't it? For everybody. Because there's people out there that don't know about, you know, all the backstory of the emergence worms jumping out the ground and all that. Or the outlawry type stuff that we had with that sort of expedition that had, was very lore heavy. It'd be nice to see them placed into game for any lore buff. It really would. Anyways, um... That's what I've got for you. Sales have started across the board. I think the next thing that might happen is we might see the emoji. Then I think we might see the depots start to do their, their updates and stuff. We might see a lot more activity from Shaun of the Murrays. That is, if there is something beefy on the horizon. If there's not something beefy, not an expedition, and it's just going to be reduxes, then we'll probably just see a tweet from Sean just saying, here you go, over the festive period, we're giving you the reduxes to do. So next week's going to be an interesting week. It's going to be a very interesting week next week. Keep your eye peepers peeled. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel and you haven't hit that bell, you could miss the news. You know, that subscribe button, free. Press it, free. Doesn't cost you a penny. For me, it's freaking awesome, though. You know, it shows that you guys are liking my content. And if you hit that notification bell, hopefully YouTube's going to get that backside in gear and send you a notification. Doesn't always happen. Don't know why, but there's a chance. Hit that bell. Heck yes. I can't make you any promises on that score. Oh, YouTube. What are you doing, YouTube? Yes. Anyway, until next time, people, you guys have been freaking awesome. Yes, even you. You. Uh, yes. You. I'm talking yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Yes, you. The one that's just turned around looking behind you. No, not behind you. You. You're special. Thank you. <laughs> until next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.